TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. 2 p.m. on Friday, Friday of a long weekend coming up. Market, of course, closed for Martin Luther King Day on Monday. And this market coming into the weekend hot. Dow Jones up 199 points, trading at 25,773. NASDAQ positive by 36 points, trading at 67.62. I'm sorry, what did I say? Where are we? Yeah, NASDAQ, positive 42 points, trading at 72.54. That was the NASDAQ 100 that's up 36, trading at 67.63. And the S&Ps, positive by 15, trading at 27.83. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of the futures markets. Near the highs of the session for the S&Ps that we made at about 11 a.m. this morning, currently trading 27.84. NASDAQ 100, near the highs of the session as well, 67.61. Dow 30, approaching those highs, 25,746. Crude oil just does not stop, $64.13 for crude, quite a number for sure. That's the same crude chart. And then Bitcoin, how about it? Bitcoin struggling a little bit in the session today, currently trading 13,508, was as low last night, under 13,000, getting a little bit of a bid, still quite a volatile sector. Fundamentally, you had CPI data this morning, the big number out there with core CPI increasing 1.8% in the 12 months through December, picking up from 1.7% in November. Quite a number. Retail sales also out there. Retail sales rise while core sales are re revised sharply higher. Retail sales in December rising 5.4% from a year ago. It is earnings season. JP Morgan earnings top expectations after tax bill. Beating on earnings per share, 176 versus 169. Beating on revenue, 25.45 billion versus 25.15. That little 0.45 versus 0.15 represents 300 million million dollars in revenue for the quarter quite a number for sure facebook as well taking a little bit of heat today in their stock as they unveil sweeping changes say engagement may fall news feed to prioritize friends and family posts but not brands we'll see how that shakes out but the market hitting facebook today let's jump over so that's jp morgan first up about one percent on their earnings you have facebook down 4%, was down much lower at the beginning of the market when that first came out, but still a big number. And then who's reaping the benefits? If you're not going to be on Facebook, maybe you're going to be on Twitter. Twitter up almost 5%. Stay tuned. David White right now, Tom O'Brien live 3 till 4. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks so much.